Greetings Commanders, thanks for dropping by, I'm Arson Cross, and today I'm going to provide you with my raw and unfiltered initial response and reaction to Update 11 and Fleet Carrier Interiors. Mine should be arriving here shortly, so we're going to go ahead and wait for it here. Um, before we begin, I do want to just go ahead and cover uh, my fleet carrier is fully loaded with everything available to players leading up to update 11. So I've got the shipyards, you know, the, the, all the various services and things that uh, that you can have to offer. Um, I do own all the uh, various ship uh, fleet carrier uh, cosmetics. For example, mine is a Nautilus class. I do have the other uh, two classes purchased. Um, Sometimes you just gotta shut up. Greetings, Commander. Please be mindful of other ships around this carrier. Clearance granted. Move directly to your allocated path. Landing here to deploy. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, is we're going to go ahead and wait out the entire process uh, for this video. Ooh. Hey! New station services interface. So it's giving us the tariffs for each individual service, which was one of the things mentioned in the patch, the fuel level of the carrier. So we can kind of see what's going on on each individual thing, which is great. I am so incredibly happy to see that they have finally implemented uh, the much requested feature of setting tariffs for each individual feature of the carrier. All right, so moving on, I am going to go ahead and schedule a jump for the fleet carrier to one of our nearest systems for dry dock markers. Is dry dock markers what I want? Map mode. Agents, user data mode. Services. Carrier administration. There we go. Yundun. It's a carrier destination. Can't already. Oh. See? See? Things you don't think about. I'm still on cooldown. Anyways, moving on, let's check out our interior. So, of course, not a whole lot unexpected in here. We have been able to see our little boarding area for a while now. Uh, so far, good sign. I am still getting over 100 frames per second. All right. No gravity. Magnetic contact active. I want to cut on these advertisements, please. Frontier. Hangar 11 on Sleep Near CSEC. 
Like this is just fantastic. I'm I'm very excited about this. I'm a huge fan of Odyssey. And a uh, wait a second. Hold up. Their footage when they tease these showed four different sections that you could pick from. So I find that very interesting. Carrier CERN only. All right. Okay, so it looks like this is similar, same layout. Okay, it's not saying they're unscanned or giving me a name, which means that they may not be associated with my crew. Alright, so don't have that service yet. Here is one of my terminals. Additional services offered to docked ships so I can get carrier management and the redemption office. So any computer terminal in here, apparently I can access and manage my carrier. That's fantastic. Now this is going to just be a square. That's going to be where the bar is. Is this my uniform? Can I change all those uniforms? There is my shipyard. Python, Python, everybody loves a Python. Must they're crazy. All right, shipyard terminal. Of course, I don't have any available for purchase. And there is that famed Taipan. I love condors. I wish I could replace that. More shipyard terminals. Just kind of go ahead and prove the squareness slash rectangle service suspended service suspended because these graphs mean everything service suspended and of course shipyard i got armed guards what's up buddy of course there's the uh escape pods Using this escape pod takes you to your last visited safe location. I don't like that beeping sound. That that makes me nervous. All right, down into here. Oh my god! Oh uh, yeah, I can sit in a chair. Uh, that's okay. Okay, cool. Just hitting W allowed me to stand up. All right, so I assume all of these chairs can be sat in. Uh, my area is up there, so is my crew. Of course, I am an anonymous. I like that they actually allow us to step up here, even though that doesn't really look like a step. Thank you, Frontier, because that would have driven me friggin' crazy. Graphs mean everything, friends. Express lift, command deck. should be clickable I need let me click that and and open station services please oh my god but the the slide in is 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 pretty dope of course my wing can sit there I'm a little bit bothered that I'm not getting NPC names when I do this um, my ready room carrier management screen. I'm assuming this straight carrier management, nothing else. Okay. All right, now here's the real test. Oh, damn it. Okay. So I can sit back here. 
I can relax. One of the things that I was really, really hoping for when when this was teased was that we would be able to interact with this screen or click on it and bring up the station services so that we could kind of, as the commander in our ready room, literally be sitting in our ready room seat and fussing with all our user interface panels as if we were, you know, maybe sitting on our ship. Um, it would have been a nice little perk, and then your, you know, wingmates could come in here and, and be like, hey, what's up, boss? And you can stop what you're doing at your terminal to talk to them. The uh, the seat thing is, is pretty stellar. Having the ability for four people to sit next to each other in a carrier is, is pretty dope. Um, you know what? Oh, they removed the uh, the breach pads. I guess there's no getting in and out in emergencies. All right, so let's go ahead and schedule our jump since this should be user data mode. Fleet carrier admin. Because PSA, you do not need to go to a sales system. You can go to any admin system, of which there are nearly 400 of in the game. I do love these geeky things. I also love that the time is up there. Um, not that that is a new thing. Okay, so... Just being a little geeky here, going back. Why are you frowning at me? You're doing a good job, soldier. Really looking forward to opening up these three services. So it definitely does look like carriers participating in DSSA will have to come back. Okay, so there's two elevators here. And one here. Okay. So I guess I am glad that they got rid of the, the confusion of multiple elevator destinations. Um, there was a lot of confusion and debate um, that I saw arise from people seeing four things and be like, oh, they only showed us one area of the carrier. Um, in reality, there is only one area of the carrier. People were thinking that there might be like engineering sections and stuff like that. And it's like, no, that's, that's not going to happen as much as I want it. Um, so let's go ahead and go here. Let's see if we can take a look-see. Because we still have a few minutes left on our jump. Jumping in 21 minutes, did they? Did they lengthen the jump time? They lengthened the jump time. Please tell me that's an accident. That is that. That's not okay, Frontier. We were at 15 minutes. Ooh, manage tariffs. Increase or decrease the price of shipyard. To any shipyard sale. I don't have ships to sell. Restocked costs. Outfitting costs. I don't want people buying stuff in the end unless they absolutely need it. Um, repair costs, refueling costs. No tariff on refueling. I'm running a business here, friends. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. Settings. 
Victorious Commander Access. Allow docking access. All current activity. Illegal equipment trading. Allowed. Uh, no, I don't want to decommission my carrier. Carrier services. Fleet Carrier Library. This is what we're looking for. Concourse theme. Ooh, three colors. How much is this? Default. Research. Okay, so there's really only two colors. Wait a second, do I, I don't have to pay for that? Did, did, I, did they give us colors for free? Or am I tripping balls? I might be tripping balls. I think I'm tripping balls, but the main menu, okay, wow. All right, so they gave us three colors to pick from out the gate. It feels so bright and open in here with the change, color change. This is to, uh, Mask the color of your insides spewing out of your body if you don't wear your seatbelt. That's why it's red. Let's get to see our command deck in these updated colors. I do like the research theme. Yeah, I really like the research theme. Come on, give me, give me terminal access. Library. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch to the extraction. Uh, identification, packs. Layout. Looks like they still haven't fixed the ability to access the Drake layout, Frontier. Um, the fact that purchasing and using any one of these uh, completely eliminates your ability to return to the original Drake layout is a massive oversight. No new paint jobs from the looks of it. Not that that's a surprise. Got some engine detailing. Yeah, no new ones. No new pad colors. And no new voices. All right. So we will go ahead and main menu.
W5W3RZ will be departing for Yundun in 15 minutes and 5 seconds. Okay, that's that's a mild annoyance. That that's a mild annoyance. Step into the command elevator, and I'm gonna do that again just because I have uh, the time while I'm waiting for the 15 minutes to jump. So I'm just gonna sit here. Ooh, look at that! It shows the jump time. So I was on the command deck, and instead of getting booted out of the elevator onto the command deck. I got shot back all the way to the start. So, waiting a couple extra seconds in the elevator <laughs> is not okay. Still, I I'm, I really appreciate Frontier and their choice to give us three different color schemes to choose from. Lockdown protocol active. Okay, can we sit on? Okay, we can only sit on. We can't sit in the corner. What if I want to sit there and 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 throw my legs across to the side? I just want to sit there and do the splits. But you're not gonna let me. Hey, I can get my bio paste and coffee. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, so moving back to library, I'm going to change it to the color scheme that I want. The research. Give it a nice open feel, match the rest of the pristine white that I like to go for. Go ahead and log back to main menu. And continue again. Yeah, that just feels good. Like, I really... Yeah. This makes me happy. You know, we're going to do a little adventure. So let's go into carrier management. And I want to see... There's my crew. Pay attention to what you're doing, Arson. Oh, no! What is going on with my NPCs? They're all changed. I'm not happy with that at all. This journey cross is a little bit more attractive than the last one I had. Um, but, like, here's Morgan Kerr and Anessa Kerr. These two were supposed to be family in my headcanon. They look nothing alike now. <sighs> okay, so I will need to run all that through again but let's see let's see uh, let's see if we can find journey cross I would expect her to be on the bridge
Okay, so I would wager this is her. Yeah, I think that's her. But again, unlike NPCs historically, you have quite an interesting grip there on your hand. Um, unlike NPCs at stations, when we point and wave and, and otherwise emote them, they would either show as unscanned or provide their name, but you can't confirm who is who uh, with this system. Gotta say, the jump countdown is slightly frustrating. I can't, I can't change it from here. The fact that I cannot change my active ship from my own ready room is a mite frustrating. And again, like I said, these computer terminals, um, like, when I'm idling in the game, somewhere it's it's probably going to be my fleet carrier now that we have interiors like i'm just going to be straight when i'm idling here i want to control what's going on i want to control my ship i want to access station services um i would really like to be able to outfit my ship it can't be that hard to send my camera to the uh the hangar bay things like that so we're just gonna kind of go ahead and hit the shipyard here. This is so much better lit. So much better lit. Doesn't feel like somebody's gonna murder you in the corner of your own shipyard. Um, let's take a look see here. I'm gonna just pull a large pad ship real quick. Not a whole lot different from the medium pad. Again, not surprised. Um, I do like that the bay is on the side, uh, seemingly for all pad sizes. We're going to go verify with a small pad now. But in general, that uh, for most ships is going to shorten the amount of time it's going to take you to get to the pad. I just feel like confirming uh, I can redemption office or management, but I cannot change ships unless I have the shipyard. Okay. Too much cargo to move. Can I access my cargo? No, I can't. I'll have to go get in the ship. Something that I think you should be able to do is the carrier owner from your ready room. You know, manage and see in station services if, it's, if you were on your ship. All right. Ten to one odds that I have 63 limpets in my hold. Nope, I was wrong. It's 61. to just change through the carrier services shipyard. 
which again is not any different. I do love the adder so much. Exit on my right. Exit on my right. I completely missed what that notice said. I do think that the carrier jump status should be displayed on this screen right when you walk in. At least it's there at another 3 minutes and 21 seconds. seating area immediately. I'm gonna be straight. I'm excited. Why are you holding that tablet? We're about to jump. You should be manning the controls.
Alright. Oh, I'll be straight. I had a shit eating grin on my face the entire ride. Um, you may now leave your seat. <laughs> Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. Alright, I am now in Yundan. Let's go ahead and manage our carrier. Uh, and while I am doing this, um, one of my friends on Discord has advised me uh, that they believe that the 25 minute jump time is a result of load on the servers, not a change to the balance. So hopefully that is indeed the case, and that I am wrong on that. Okay, so the concourse bar. 200 million credits for installation, and 1.7 mil a week. Hundred and fifty mil for Vista Genomics and one point five a week. And whoo, wow, Pioneer Supplies is five million credits a week. Okay. Why y'all why y'all matching hairstyles? Oh y'all Okay, y'all are related apparently. Kareem, Esmeralda, and... Wait, do I have two Kareem pickets? Kareem picket and Kareem picket? Okay, that's... This isn't going to be a confusing ship at all. Ugh, oh, goodness. It's going to be great seeing various... Uh, various views out the bridge. <laughs> Squee! All right, now the question is, am I gonna have to reload to see these services or are the doors just gonna be open? <gasps> the doors are just gonna be open. Vista Genomics. Vista Genomics, can I help you? And this ah, is even the person. inquisitive mind, I see. Well, let's see what you've got for us. Is that everything? Please do return when you have some organic data to share. Okay, so, you know, nothing spectacular. Let's let's go ahead and, and nerd out with some, some camera, though. What we got going on back here? standard Vista Genomic Fair. I would love to have some gameplay associated with using that equipment. What you got going on here? How depressing has that got to be? I'm just gonna sit here and stare at a terminal that tells me how long I have to stand here. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Pilot's Lounge. Now, I expected this to be where Vista Genomics is, so they must have decided to switch their position. I'm so tired all the time now. I don't know. Honestly, I barely slept at all last week. I think I'm starting to hallucinate. It's got so bad I'm considering cryo sleep, but then I'd have to readapt afterwards. I'm apparently not treating my crew very well. Hi, Sleepy. Do you not have quarters? Alright, so... As you can off, imagine... Commander. You know... Uh, no. Oh, this is this is the picket guy. All right. Before we do that, though, because that that I'm gonna probably dive into. For... Reminds me of home. 
Eh. I've got a lot of memories about this place. None of them good. Yep, my crew hates me. Okay, so pioneer supplies. You after a weapon or an upgrade? Maybe even something else. Give me a shout if you have any questions. I've got all the essentials. Everything's available. That's not surprising at all, but take your time. But it's Come the back case. When you're ready. You got it. Alright, so to be determined on whether or not the carrier born uh, pioneer supplies will stock pre engineered equipment or not. Take a load off, Commander. I oh, thank you, sir. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping to be able to stay sitting in the seat. Trading, selling, or both? Have a look. The only thing you won't find is a discount. Ah, no discounts. Whatever you need to sell, I can handle it. Okay. So I can't manage it All there. Right. It's your loss. <laughs> it's my carrier, bro. What the hell? <laughs> and there's nothing for sale. Alright. Um, let's go. Do it from our quarters. I'm sorry, our ready room. You know, because for commanders, we don't need a place to sleep. All work, all the time. Just like our crews. Okay, what have we got here? Commodity trading. Manage market, is it in here? No, okay, this is unchanged. Bartender, aha, manage bar trading. Resource capacity, 100 items, are you serious? What on earth? Okay, so... I'm just going to say right out the gate that this is extremely disappointing. Um, extremely disappointing. I'm also noticing a lack of ability to deposit items here, which I guess... that we need to deposit them from our ship. All the way across. Transfer. <sighs> yep. Okay. Just 
this literally completely crushes my dream of actually running a viable business. One person can come here and buy stuff from my carrier and poof, it's gone. Just poof. Like, yes, I get paid for it, and yes, they get their goods, and yes, they get to move on. But, like, let's let's go to Pioneer Supplies, and, and let's, let's just do some really basic, quick math on upgrades. And yes, we have a, a 1,000 unit limit for goods and assets. I get that they don't want us to be able to use carriers to store huge amounts of it. But that's kind of supposed to be the benefit of owning a carrier, is it not? Um, sorry, I'm going to Pioneer Supplies. A weapon up give me a shout if you have any questions okay so upgrade sure. and sell weapons tk zenith just these two right here that's 25 i'm sorry that's 50 60 70 80 one upgrade let's say do i have any class four no i don't have any class fours do I have any suits? They need to fix this bug. I can't see what the materials are required for that particular suit. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I can sell enough materials for somebody to upgrade one suit one weapon and not from one to five but just one one tier no this this is garbage that <sighs> maybe love that fine. it's there but that number that one specific number needs to be changed because right now with a hundred unit cap on resources that basically relegates us to just being able to utilize this as one-off trading oh i have a buddy that needs something let me go ahead and just throw it on my carrier and and send it over to him. Okay, so. And here's another thing. Like, let's take a look here. Weapon components, ion batteries. Let's go down here and. Biometric data. I'm going to throw that in there. Okay, so data and assets take the same. Okay, so what do I have a lot of in here?
I'm just gonna come throw some stuff in here. Surplus. Assets and goods and data. I'll use the same storage count. And you know, I'm just just to, to make a point, let me get back in the ship real quick. So on storage. Assets, eight hundred one out of a thousand. Goods, three hundred and three out of a thousand. Data, five hundred and fifty three out of a thousand. All three use different separate storages. Now I see absolutely no issue with having a combined storage count on the carrier for everything. But a hundred unit cap is unacceptable. And dare I say a thousand unit cap on the carrier is also unacceptable. Really should be closer to five or six thousand um or what i honestly expected um was them to just take unit count from the carrier itself so if you have twenty-five thousand tons of available storage on your carrier then you could store twenty-five thousand tons of odyssey materials but alas that is not the case so go ahead and go in here to carrier management real quick and summary. So I've got 20, 000, 25,000 units total storage on my ship available. 1582 units of modules and ships. 4341 on markets. Use space, 147 units reserved. 6620 used for my installed services and 49% free space. So I would have expected to be able to store up to 12,310 units of Odyssey materials. The fact that I'm limited to 100 blows my mind. Now, I get it. You know, that when they looked at Pioneer Supplies, they said, hey, it doesn't make sense that you have to manage all the, the goods and equipment. And, and, you know, a box of guns could have hundreds of them or dozens of them. Like, got it. But for the materials that we're going to be trading, buying, and selling on our market, having a hard limit of 100, that's just, it's not, not sufficient. Also, where's the filter? Why can't I filter to only show things that I have put in the storage? So not only do I have to manage my inventory separate, I need to go in there and sift through the entire list to find the things that I actually have on there. Okay, 100% of average is 500 credits. So let's see how much I can sell this electrical wiring for. 5k. Suit schematics. Let's see. Thousand percent of fifty thousand. So really, it's the items and data that are going to get sold. The actual components themselves are going to be pretty much ignored from people that are trying to uh, run a shop. Titanium plating, extremely valuable resource for upgrading your Dominator suits. Literally worth trash. Um, 
it's I'm a little bit disappointed. Am I happy that I have the ability to do it? Yes. Um, I do have to say, my expectation, while it may be skewed, uh, is that this number is going to get patched uh, relatively quickly. Um, yeah. I have 79,200 credits worth of items stored. So yeah, um, I will say that is properly implemented. The lack of a filter is a massive oversight. Um, the limit itself is absolutely insulting. You can't run a viable shop for any length of time unless you are constantly micromanaging it. Um, yeah. Also changing our NPC avatars. Uh, that kind of sucks. I do like my new deck officer more, but all of the rest of my NPCs... Um, pretty bummed about that. Um... Yeah, so overall, I'm very excited. I'm disappointed that I can't access and manage my carrier and its services while sitting in my chair. Um, I do love that my wing can come join me in here. Um, I need to double check. But my ready room and bridge. All right settings, legal equipment training, set current activity, notorious docking access, library, I already went through all that, shipyard stock, secure trading, bartender, all of the NPCs for my carrier services, my commodity trading, my budget, I can manage my tariffs, like I said this is fantastic. my jump stuff and my summary another oversight that I think is is a little bit broken um, there are those of us that use carriers as squadron assets I in fact have a second carrier that I own on an altered account uh, that is locked down to my squadron uh, the fact that I cannot allow members of my squadron access to my bridge area um, kind of sucks. There is a chair for me, three for my wing, another three here, four, five. In fact, I'm just going to start over to count. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We've got thirteen chairs in here on this floor, on this deck. And I can't open up the permissions for my squadron to come up here. food for thought um, yeah I can't access that and manage anything with that screen while I'm in my chair um, as the carrier owner I should be able to take an elevator straight to the bridge Vista Genomics is great. Shipyard is great. Pioneer Supplies is great. I really hope that, that we wind up you seeing... something catches your eye, let me know. Uh, you know, pre-engineered stock spawn at carriers. None um, of these guns will let you down. I don't care if we have any control over it whatsoever. Sure. You know what? Let's do a test. This is probably not going to work, but you know, I'll never use this. So weapon, 247,000 credits. Confirm. I don't actually think sure, that this is going to show up. And of course it didn't. So this is something else I would love to see. If I am the carrier owner and I sell something that is engineered to my Pioneer Supplies, 
I should have the option to sell it to them at no profit and then have them sell it at the full markup pre-engineered prices and Anything then get else that I can cut. do for you? Good luck out there. Thank you. Um, so I, I guess in, in regards to that, uh, the whole running it as a business, um, it's DOA at, at the 100 item cap for for Odyssey materials. So that that is a huge, huge negative blow. Um, one of the other things that I will say I am a little bit frustrated with uh, is that the layout is identical depending on which, regard, irregardless of which carrier. Uh, layout you choose and what I mean by that is go to library here currently have a Nautilus class so I'm gonna go ahead and switch not the skin but the layout so Nautilus class was, okay so the fortune class has the carrier deck in the back where everything can be overlooked you can see what's going on. Same for the victory class. You've got a centered flight deck in the back and you can see all this, all the landing pads. The Nautilus class has a front mounted deck. And while I'm sure it will be great to see, you know, whatever planet you happen to be pointing at, if your carrier lands pointing at the planet, um, you don't get to see any of that from your observation area or your office, which kind of sucks. Um, I would have really appreciated a uh, rear facing, you know, area, slightly different layout between each one. Um, I get the whole prefab structure thing. Um, and I love that that's Elite's lore. It makes sense. Um, but you know, um, maybe in the future, we'll get uh, other areas on our ships. Like, I don't know, the little hab dome up here. Um, I will say the, in the last few minutes of this, uh, very negative reaction to the limit on, on Odyssey trading materials. That, that was by far one of the things that I had hoped to be able to do the most was to go in and actually run a market and, you know, sell stuff to people that want to avoid the on-foot grind because let's face it the on-foot grind is a grind you you do have to work at it and all of that um, but at best this is you know a one-off trading system you, you're not going to be able to keep your market stocked uh long enough to to go afk more than a day if you're known as a a, a fair and reputable trader that keeps their stuff stocked. It's just not going to happen. Um, and I'm a grown ass adult. Most of us are grown ass adults. Ain't nobody got time for that. We, we can't be logging in every day or multiple times a day to keep trading stuff. And right now, if you want to trade stuff with people, um, You basically have to, uh, or, well, so before carrier interiors, let me, let me just backtrack. I'm sorry. I'm kind of rambling because I'm, I'm really irritated by that limitation. Uh, with, without carrier interiors, the way you traded, uh, was you would go down onto planet surface and you'd throw stuff on the ground. Or if you were smart about it. Uh, you and your friend that you were trading with would jump an SRV up on top of your ship and then you would throw the items down onto the ship because they wouldn't go through the ship. Which basically meant you could drop as much as you wanted, you just access the SRV, turn around, drop it on the ship, buddy picks it up off the ship, puts it in the SRV, bada bing, bada boom. So you can trade as much as you want. Both of you are online. And typically, 
in most trades, I would transfer anywhere between five units, sometimes one if they were really, you know, stuck on that one piece of data, but but usually between five units to a hundred or more. Um, sometimes I had huge surpluses of, say, microelectrodes, and somebody's uploading or updating a, uh, you know, an executioner or a tormentor or, you know, the intimidator shotgun. And it's just like, boom, here's a bunch of microelectrodes. Have fun. You know, sometimes you drop over 100 units of something. As it stands right now, if I'm using the carrier to trade interpersonally, it detaches us from that process because I sit here in my ship. It's the only way to put the items in there is from my ship. I sit in my ship and I load things into the carrier and then I go into the carrier and then I go into carrier management and then I go to the bar and then I manage bar trading and then I go to the material and then I trade it and then I sell it and then I set the price and then I apply and then separate from all of that the person buying it from me isn't even with me during the trade because again this is really unless you're just kind of fire and forgetting you know a really expensive resource like some of the data which is what really people are going to wind up using this for since it's the only thing you profit off of you're sitting in there doing the trade from your ship and they're all the way over here by themselves without you present hey, looking to make a business transaction feel free to browse my wares buying the goods interesting choice so needless to say I'm pleasure commander I'm beyond disappointed especially because like trading selling more or both whatever you need to sell I can handle it I can offer to Anything buy stuff I can and I can offer to sell stuff the credits is that everything but again I can only do an escrow of 100 units at a time and if I'm offering to buy a hundred units of something I can can't sell anything um, so uh, that having been perhaps the biggest feature that I was looking forward to other than just kind of hanging around on my carrier um, I'm very disappointed in that um, and hopefully that gets fixed um, so instead of continuing to gripe about this for the last bit, I'm going to go ahead and go up to my carrier uh, command deck, and I am going to access the control panel. And I'm going to switch to the other carrier layouts real quick, just so that uh, those watching can see the different views. Unfortunately, I will not be able to revert to a Drake carrier because once you buy any of these, you can't access Drake. So this entire time we've been on a Nautilus class, this one here. We're going to go ahead and move over to a Fortune class carrier. I have to actually reset the instance to see the change. Ba -ba -da -ba -da, da -da -da. All right. center.
nice view from in here, though. I know it's not safe, but I totally want to jump off the edge. My guard is different. So, yeah, okay. So, moving back. started with the Nautilus. We have now looked at the fortune, and now we're going to look at the victory. say I do appreciate the simple design for the layout. Alright, so I believe the Drake has a similar positioning, but, you know, nice lovely view of all of the landing pads. Everything is good to go there. Go ahead and just run upstairs real quick. Show the view from the command deck. I wish that texture popping would go away. So, th this is a view that, that I'm going to be sad I don't have on the Nautilus. Um, it's my preferred carrier. Um, and having the ability to sit up here and watch people come in would be phenomenal. Like, like just, just, just play pretend with me for a moment. I'm commanding my fleet carrier. I'm sitting here and boop, I hit the button and I can access, you know, the station services from here and I can outfit my ship and all that stuff. and. Somebody flies into my instance and requests docking, and then all of a sudden the PA system, you know, announces the ship is docking, and I can exit my thing and look around, and, oh, hey, Shoo, there goes the stream, and blonk, dude just, you know, cratered one of my landing pads, did an Anakin, um, you know, little things like that, um. So yeah, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and just drop this off with, with my few pieces of feedback. Kind of summarized. Number one, let us set it so that our squadron can come up to the command deck. Uh, you know, give us a, a setting, a permission setting to turn that on and off. Uh, increase the capacity that we have for storing Odyssey goods, either dramatically um, we should be able to store at least 5,000 units of it. Um, if not, uh, allow us to use the same storage that the rest of our cargo does. Uh, make the terminal here, access the station services, um, and go an extra step. We should be able to outfit, manage, and switch our ships and, and change it all from here or here. Um, that that should be a perk of owning a fleet carrier. 
this is your office this is where you should be managing stuff you know and maybe ditch the screen there and may have one on the side of this chair that comes up like the one in the uh the bridge and then for anybody that comes up here this terminal uh should basically uh be like the rest of the normal terminals on the station should give uh you know shipyard functionality and standard on foot functionality you know not that that's a lot but still uh, I just think that would be a nice perk for for squadron members uh, um, other than that um, I do want to praise the fact that Frontier gave us the ability to basically have three colors to choose from on the interiors from jump uh, without any additional costs. Uh, I think that, you know, it's kind of unnecessary, but also a nice inclusion all the same. Um, I expected to have to purchase uh, carrier interior themes. Um, you know, hopefully more will come in the future. Um, please fix the bug for the Drake. Uh, being selectable. I would have loved to have shown the view in this video. Um, technically I could do that with my other carrier, but I don't feel like editing. Um, overall, I'm extremely happy in... except for the trading thing. That, that really put a crimp in my style. Um, but the very last thing that I will say is Odyssey now needs VoIP. And I don't mean calling people with a voice comms request. I mean proximity voice over IP. Um, you know, somebody's down there and they know you're up here. All of a sudden you hear them yell, hey, Arson, what's up, you arsehole? And, and you, just, you just wave down there and go, not much. Let me eject you from my carrier. Security! You know, what, whatever. Like, there are so many different places in Odyssey that, you know, settlements uh, and, of course, concourses and the wilds. Not that you're going to run into people very much, but the, the, the fact of the matter is proximity voice over IP when you were on foot uh, would add a lot to the game. Uh, if you look at Escape for Tarkov as an example, they recently added it, and one of the great things about it is that suddenly people can roleplay slash play with each other, um, you know, do geeky little things and, and have fun and meet each other and, you know, determine, oh, I'm not going to shoot at you, I'm going to play with you instead. You know, there, there's all kinds of different things. Or, uh, I was going to be friendly, now I'm going to shoot at you. You know, there, there's a bunch of different things that can happen. And, of course, people can turn on VoIP if they don't want it. They can go play in solo or private if they don't want to want to mess with it. Uh, or play in solo and private so, or private groups so that they only talk to people on VoIP that they want to. There's, there's all kinds of things. And I think that proximity VoIP, uh, especially now that we have a place like Carrier Concourses, all around the galaxy and share with each other. I think it would add a whole lot because the chat experience in Odyssey is not uh, not very great on foot. It works, but it's not great. Uh, anyways, I've been Commander Arson Cross, and you have been a very patient listener, so thanks for paying attention. I hope you like the fleet carrier interiors as much as I do, and um, maybe go raise a ruckus on the forums and let's see if we can get Frontier to up the capacity for Odyssey materials. 07 commanders. <laughs>